Hi all, so in this video we will cover the installation of MySQL, uh, the recent version like uh, 8 versions and uh, we will install in docker and the main thing is like that we will try to connect it outside the container. So already docker is installed in my EC2 instance and I have already installed uh, MySQL so I will just uh, delete the container so that I can uh, show you from the scratch so I am just killing the docker instance so this is the 8.013 is already installed I am just killing and uh, then I am deleting it removing this container so now you can see that I am not able to find this container because it has been deleted now I am just proceeding further to delete the image as well so I am just going for docker images so here you can say that here you can see that I am already having 8.5 tom oh sorry uh, this one 8.013 version is already there so I am just removing this image so simple command is docker rmi so my container is already down and it has been removed so it will not complain so it has been deleted now you can see that I don't have any image for uh, MySQL server so this is the JDK there is one more MySQL so I will also delete it so docker rmi it will take few seconds yeah it's done now I am just showing you from the scratch like how you can proceed further to search the mysql and you can install it so i am just searching it so here you can see like that mysql is in the top which you can install uh, but i prefer to go with this one so i am just going ahead to pull it docker pull and uh, i am just going with uh, version yeah, i am just going ahead like that then i will install the proper version of it it will take few seconds to yeah so now image is available with me the latest one so yeah, I can go ahead with this one docker images clear docker images so it's showing that uh, mm, I'm having the latest version of it okay and now I am just proceeding further to install it so installing it already I am having the command noted it down into the notepad plus plus and uh, let me quickly go through it yeah so here I am having so it will install and it will run I am giving the name is 8.013 with the tag 8.013 okay and uh, yeah here the password I am just uh, mentioning as a uh, root so the main thing is like that I am here uh, mapping it with the my custom with the docker uh, file path there is a reason behind it because uh, I want my own custom configuration file which I will place here so that it will automatically get copied here and I can customize my configuration and uh, yeah if you are not interested this part you can remove not required we can work with the docker id docker container id yeah this is mandatory for mandatory for you so i will just uh, give you an demo if suppose suppose you are removing this one so i am just running this command okay so basically it is again trying to download because it uh, got the tag as the latest the default tag so which we are not interested we are just going with the 8.013 so I'm just doing the docker ps minus a so here you can see like that we are having uh, ports double three TCP double three zero six TCP but it's better if we are having that entry like that um, zero 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 and then triple uh, double three zero six so I'm just killing that instance and deleting it Doctor, docker kill this is our instance id sorry container id after killing this i am removing it sorry for typos so 
so it has been removed and uh, yeah it's better we can verify again yeah so it's not there so I will suggest you that you must have to go with this approach uh, with port mapping and path mapping so that is mm, it's very good to map it and now I'm running this command so here I'm going so yeah it has been installed and my SQL is running I will just go ahead with docker mm, ps minus a sorry docker ps minus a so yeah here you can see like that now I am having the port it is like showing that this entry so far so good uh, it's working fine and uh, we will just log into bass so docker exec minus i minus t then we are having that base here so here you can say that uh, mm, we are in inside that the container and I can just go ahead with mm, my SQL so yeah my um, SQL is working fine so here I am just exiting it and uh, now I am inside that uh, container I am just coming out from the container now here you can see like that I want to connect uh, my my SQL which already I have installed so I will use uh, uh, just a python file so I have already created so just let me show you yeah so here I am having the file so the content you can see it is simple import my SQL connector and then connect that is the host that is the root and this is the password and uh, yeah so basically 000, zero uh, that is the ins that the container uh, where we are having that mysql running and i'm just coming out i am running this file python then demo so here you can see that i am having the same error host once you are not allowed to connect this mysql server so basically it is not allowing you to connect it from the outside so for that we need to do some configuration or, or um, there is one more thing we can go ahead inside the docker container and we can check that this uh, is working or not so what i will do i will just copy this one docker cp i will copy this file to my docker container so I'm just forgetting the docker container ID most probably this one okay let me check what was my docker container ID this was this one then just in the root directory of that container I am copying this one now again I am going inside this container yeah here I am so here I am having that file mm, where is this one I will run Python demo mysql okay so mysql connector is not installed so anyhow I am just leaving it here the reason is that I was just trying to show that uh, it can work inside the container but outside the container it cannot work so for that um, we have to do some configuration so I created one uh, okay so I just mapped this to this so I will just go inside of this so vi so this directory automatically it will create when we are installing that mysql docker container and i am creating one file mycnf and uh, yeah basically it was already created it is the old file 
so make sure that you are having entry with mysql d and this bind address must be 000 so this is prerequisite for you and uh, once it is there you just need to restart the docker So once docker is restarted, so you can just check that now this entry is there or not there. Uh, so you will find the CNF file inside that the MySQL path. So you can again go to bash. Yeah, so here is bash is here. We are inside the container and now I can check what is the file content. So it was in etc mysql. And here I am having file the mysql and content is sorry that is not cut sorry less is not there I need to just install. Okay, no problem. I will just show you with the cat command. Yeah, so it's containing the MySQL do this one. I'm just coming out from. Uh, okay, make sure that once it is done, we need to run one more command to find out that bind is proper or not. So I am running one command here. Uh, I will also post it on the description so it is just saying take my sql d and finding out the bind address so here you must have this entry otherwise you will again end up with that the same error uh, the previous error that error was this one not allowed to connect to the micro mysql server so once this task is done you need to go to the mysql so yeah after that you can just come out from this bash and uh, try to run the file so I am running again the python demo so you can see again I am having the same error so now again we need to do one more changes this changes is must once these changes are done you need to proceed further and do the next changes to do the next changes again go to that base go to mysql minus u root sorry once you are inside the root uh, run one more query and what exactly here we are doing just let me explain you first select host user from user so here you can see that uh, once again mysql dot user so here you can see that it is allowing only you to connect inside from the container not from the outside from the container so this entry you need to update by using the percent so for that already I'm having that in clipboard it is available so I'm just pasting it here it's simple query just go to user table update the host where username is the root so once it is done just commit it it's a bad default commit but just I am doing like that now you just come out and uh, restart the docker again yes so here we are having command once it is restarted we can again test it with the help of our path and code so we'll do it yes it is connecting fine so that is this result thanks a lot guys so this all this was just the um, quick 
update on that how to install the MySQL and how to get rid of such error, such error to connect outside from the container.